report. Seven minutes now to one o'clock. News overnight that Facebook's beginning to start the process of creating its own content. In other words, it's going to produce TV programs and films to watch over Facebook. Mongezi Mtati is the Managing Director of Work Start, a digital content specialist on the line from Joburg. Afternoon to you, Mongezi. There are all sorts of ways to access this kind of content. Is this really the right way for Facebook to go? Good afternoon, Stephen. It definitely is because... Facebook has been, I mean, increasing its uh, video viewing over time. So they're competing very much with YouTube in terms of the video that we watch on Facebook. So to increase their revenue spend, or at least revenue on uh, on ads, it is good for them to kind of have video because it just means you spend more time on the platform. So in other words, instead of clicking on someone, what someone's liked and going onto YouTube or wherever, you would actually just stay within the Facebook environment? That's it exactly, because what we are seeing um, on YouTube especially is that in as much as, you know, Facebook is competing with YouTube on video, people are watching longer and longer videos on YouTube. So the trend is that we sit online and watch longer and longer videos, we stream content, and if you're streaming content on YouTube or on Netflix, why not stream it on Facebook if the platform has quality content? It's all in the end about watching something on a screen. I would think it doesn't matter whether you do that through Netflix or Facebook. The screen's not going to get any bigger or smaller. This is true, except, I mean, Facebook would have a bit of an upper hand because your friends are already on Facebook. So if people can recommend that you watch a show and they are watching it at the same time and you could potentially um, comment or start conversations about the same show while watching it, they then have almost an upper hand over a Netflix where you you know, where you watch a series or but or you watch a series once and you don't necessarily have your friends watching the same series at the same time as you. So Facebook already has a platform where we're used to um, interacting and communicating with friends. So if you could do that while watching a movie or be or feel like you're in the same movie theater with your friends without the talking, why not? <laughs> so you would basically, instead of all watching t something together, you would all watch it together just in different locations. I mean, on one level, that sounds like fun. On another level, it sounds a little <laughs> like science fiction. It is. Um, it is. And, and I think, I mean, the upside for Facebook would obviously be the fact that um, they are able to sell more ads on the platform. You're able to view more ads on the platform. So this keeps... Um, the platform afloat and more profitable than its competitors. So the old saying, Mongezi, I mean, in these things, and certainly in my business, people always say the same thing. Content is king. I think Rupert Murdoch was the first person to say it. Uh, might even go before him. But I would imagine that when it comes to content, Netflix, I mean, you think of all of the things that are on Netflix at the moment. You think of their competitors. I mean, in the end, it boils down to who, who, who has the rights to Game of Thrones and who doesn't. This is true. But it's also, I mean, it's also that um, before the Game of Thrones becomes the Game of Thrones, your friends are watching it and your friends recommended it. So aside from the fact that content is king, we separate ourselves from people who watch similar types of content because there's so much content out there and kind of connect ourselves more with people who have a similar context to us, to the content that they watch or a similar type of interest. So I already trust a thousand odd people on Facebook, or at least out of those thousand odd people, I trust maybe a handful of about 50. And if the 50 are watching um, a 10 to 15 minute show, which is essentially where Facebook wants to go, they want short form content that is really high quality. So if you imagine a Game of Thrones being a 10 minute series instead of an hour long series, and it's great quality and Peter, your good friend, says he likes it, then it separates this 10-minute show from, you know, all the, all the wave of content that is coming at you from social media to this one show that friends have already recommended. So I believe that that is also another, that is also another thing that would, that would improve uh, the viewability of this content because there are already people you trust who watch it. Mongezi Mtati, thank you very much indeed. MD of Workstart, digital content specialist. Netflix, you heard it here first. Winter is coming.